To kick things off in today's video, I do have to give a special thank you to Sarah Massey, the director of Create or Die, for reaching out to me for doing a PayPal request to check out her brand new movie, Create or Die, which released on January 30th according to IMDb. In America, this is available for free with ads on Zumo Play. And here in the UK, it's on Prime Video. The cheapest to rent is for £3.49. And this is essentially a documentary about filmmaker David Axe as he creates his independent movie, Acorn. What did I think of this one? Well, stick around and let's talk about it. Hi everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this video, whether you're brand new or returning. If you are brand new, my name is Mike and I really appreciate you checking out my thoughts. As Create or Die is a documentary I heard nothing about. I didn't even know that this existed until Sarah Massey made a PayPal request for me to check this one out, which I generally really do appreciate. At the end of the day, I love indie filmmaking. I have interviewed several independent filmmakers and actors here onto the channel and I will continue to do so as I think it is extremely important for people who maybe don't get the big breaks in Hollywood but still want to make and create their own visions and movies out of just love and passion and this is exactly what this documentary follows it follows primarily David Axe and his crew of actors assistant directors DPs and many many more as they talk about their filmmaking journeys with Acorn or other movies of the past so this is definitely an interesting one and i think that it is not going to be for everyone which we're going to get into now with sarah massey firstly got to appreciate the fact that she is an actress she has done makeup work uh, producing now directing and all sorts of hats that she has worn and she continues to do so which is just impressive to start with right and clearly this is a woman who has a passion for filmmaking and it is really cool to see because myself as you guys are aware who's returning all of you brand new of course i do youtube this is a creative outlet for me to give my thoughts on like movies back to the future which is my favorite movie ever vlog days for you guys and many more content but this is an outlet for me to express my creative side where sometimes I may not have that outside of YouTube so this is my kind of open space and my plethora so example to voice my opinion whether people agree or whether they don't but that is the beauty of any passion project or any project that you make so in regards with Acon I will be open I've never seen it I didn't even know it existed before this documentary and I think this is an interesting one because it runs for around 68 minutes so it's not a long feature whatsoever. I think where this documentary will thrive is for a couple of different target audiences which I feel like this is more of a target audience based production. For example, if you are a filmmaker or an up and coming filmmaker or just interested in that creativity side, then I think this will definitely be for you. If you're maybe a, a student, maybe doing film class or film studies in like school, college or university, again, I feel like this one could be for you. If you are in indie filmmaking itself and like an actor in that field and maybe not in any like big Hollywood production, again, this could be for you. So I think in terms of those target audiences or even just people like myself who, you know, review movies and really like indie filmmaking, you could also enjoy this one. So I think on those audiences alone, this will work. And I think you'll find something here where you can take away in terms of like a life lesson or even just a lesson yourself to be like, wow, okay, it's really motivating and inspiring to hear people maybe on a similar level as yourself who maybe haven't got a lot of money or you know are trying to you know fund these passion projects and they're just going out there 
and you know not given a damn so to say if people like it or not to an extent and just creating what they want to create so that is just admirable as for a start and i think definitely a lot of people can get on board with that and appreciate the filmmaking and talent at display and just the perseverance that these people have to do what they want and to do what they love so that aspect i think that this definitely works well and showcases a lot throughout the entire one hour and eight minutes the music that accompanies this documentary by tyler matthews i think works well there's times where the music is quite cool so to say with certain scenes or certain times where david talked about set moments the music is also kind of very somber and it is also very emotional at times when this documentary needs to get onto that level whether it is about david achieving the goal that he wanted or he had to kind of undercut the movie acorn because he originally had like three hours worth of footage and he had to trim it down to like an hour and 58 because sometimes if you're going to try sell that movie to a festival then they want a movie that is less than two hours so i can't imagine how difficult that is to cut and trim down a review of three hours to like two hours and that's an hour worth of footage you're trimming i've never been in that position but i can't imagine it being easy now if i'm going to go into some negatives in terms of create or die where i think this maybe doesn't work there's kind of two things for me primarily I'd say number one is the thing that I touched upon a little bit earlier in terms of the target audience. I think if you're just a general person, for example, and not into like creating videos or movies, anything like that, but just a general audience member and you come across this on Prime Video or Zoom or Play, maybe it won't interest you. Because firstly, if you've never seen Akon or never heard of it or don't know who David Axe is, or indie filmmaking at all and you like kind of like the big hollywood blockbusters i don't think you'll get a lot from this and i don't think that you'd be a target audience so in its way this documentary sometimes feels like it's alienating itself from the general audience which i think is a shame because that's where it could have had maybe a bit more of a mass appeal but i don't think it has that luxury and then the second one was just kind of a little gripe I had personally in terms of watching this documentary. And that for me would be sometimes the little bit of the editing with the music and the pacing. What I mean by that is the music at times, especially towards the beginning, not so much towards the end because I felt like at the end it was perfect. But towards the beginning, sometimes the music felt a little bit loud, especially as the person who's been interviewed is talking whether that's david or whether that's one of the other people so for example we have a few people involved here being interviewed i wrote it down we've got um kaylin sims john valley cleve langdale morgan renew and many more and again that's just like assistant directors uh dp and actresses involved and secondly when i mentioned about the pearson what i mean is at times I didn't feel it fully connect with myself because I mentioned I haven't seen the movie Acorn. I never heard of it, never heard of this director. So to me, it's about this director talking about his movie that I've never seen. But ultimately, by the end of it, I was like, wow, I can admire the kind of passion and creativity of this person. But ultimately, I didn't really feel as if this is a feature that I may want to check out. And that might just be a personal preference. I've got nothing against the movie whatsoever. Obviously, I've never seen it. And I'm not saying that I would completely alienate myself and never watch it. But I just didn't find myself, you know, kind of clamoring to reach out and try to find it to watch it. I didn't get those emotions. But I think with Create or Die, I think it is an important documentary for the reasons I mentioned at the beginning of this video. For indie filmmaking, people who's in film studios and that audience, I think that they will gain something from this. So my overall score would be a three out of five. Have you heard of Create or Die? Are you going to check it out? Well, let me know down below in the comment section so we can continue the discussion down there. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, certainly give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button down below to see plenty more videos. A big shout out to all my awesome Patreons for helping to really support the channel. It means a lot. And if you want to join, click the link down below in the description box for only £2 per month. Also, if you missed a lot of my other content, click over here to watch that right now and have a little bit of a bit of a deep dive but until next time i'll see you guys i'll be seeing you later